Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to talk about time calculation by focusing on the examples on how you can calculate time. And I hope you have watched the previous video in which I introduced you to the concept of time calculation. Okay, so in this example, we have got these questions which are saying, given that point A is located at this point and point B is located at this point, question A is saying, what is the time difference between these points? So we want to know the time difference between point A and point B. So for you to know the time difference, you must first try to sketch the location of point A and point B so that you know whether they, are, whether they both lie on the same side of the hemisphere or not. So I'll draw a sketch. So this is question A. This is question A. I'll draw a sketch of our group, which is like this. Okay, so from there we have got 175 degrees east and 150 degrees east. So this means that this can be 150 degrees east, this can be 175 degrees east. Because remember that this is zero, this is zero degrees. As you are going this side, the numbers are, in, are increasing. Now, since 150 is smaller than 175, then 150 will come first and then second 175 and also the other thing which you must know in the previous video i stated that we use longitude when calculating time so this means that the latitude this point and this point they are irrelevant as far as time calculation is concerned so it's the reason why i'm not going to use 37 degrees south and 34 degrees south they are irrelevant Okay, so now after you have identified your longitude like this, the next thing which you must know is the difference in longitude. So earlier on, the difference in, in longitude, if you can cope properly, on the previous videos, I taught you on how you can calculate the difference in longitude. If I tell you are still having those challenges, please revisit that concept. It's a very important concept for you to know. Okay, so for us to know the difference between this longitude and this longitude, I say that since these points, they lie on the same part of the earth, then we are going to subtract. So we are going to subtract 170 minus 150. So that is the difference in the longitude. So we are going to say 175, 175 minus 150. So when you, when you subtract, you are going to have 25 degrees. So meaning that the difference between the longitude is 25 degrees. Now. On the previous video, I showed you an equation which, which was showing the relationship between the degrees and the hours. That equation was saying that one hour is equal to 15 degrees. This is a very important equation for you to know. Now the question is, how about 25 degrees? How many hours are there? So our aim here is to find out how many hours are in 25 degrees, which is the difference between the longitude. Very simple. Hope you are following there. Okay. So now for us to find x, then we are just, call, we are just going to cross multiply. We say x times 15 is 15. x is equal to 1 times 25. It's 25. When you divide both sides by 15, so that we can remain with the value of x on the left-hand side, we are going to have, when you divide 15 to 25, it's 1. So here, follow me step by step. Try to understand how I'm going to do it here. Okay, so 15 to 25, it's 1. What's the remainder? The remainder there is what? It's 10. The remainder is 10. So now, that 10 is in degrees. So you must find out how many minutes are in that 10. So this one, it's one hour. Okay, and then we must, we must multiply 10 which is in degrees by what? Four minutes. So that we know how many minutes are in the, the remainder which we obtain. So when you multiply this, let me put minutes here. Okay. So when you multiply this, you are going to find one hour. Okay. Let me just write one hour and the 40 minutes. So this is the difference in time between these two longitude because this time is corresponding to 25 degrees, which is the difference between the longitude. Very simple there. So this is our answer for question A, which is the time difference between these two points. Now let's go to point B. 
So point B is saying, what is the time at point A if it's 10 hours at point B? So let me calculate point B from here. Okay, so this is point B. So point B is saying that, okay, let's assume the time at point B is 10 hours. What's the time at point A? Okay, so let me just draw a cast stroke here so that I can indicate my coordinate. We are having A to be having 175. So this is our A. And then B to be having what? Uh, 150 there. Now they are saying that the time at point B, this is point B. So the time at point B is 10 hours. Is 10 hours. What's the time at point A? Okay, so now we know two things right now. We know the time at point B and we know the time difference there. It's very simple. <laughs> okay, now since in the previous video I said when you're moving in the direction of west to east, remember that this is our west, this is our east. What we do, we must add 10 hours plus the time difference. So meaning that we're going to say 10 hours plus what the time difference which is what which is one hour and 40 minutes so when you add you're going to have 11 hours 40 minutes so this is the time time at point point a so this is the time at point a very simple concept there hope you have understood this concept let's go to the last question the last question is saying what is the time at point b if it is 14 hours at point a now this one is saying that, okay, let's find out the time at point B, at point B, if the time at point A is what? Is 14 hours. Very simple. We know this time here, we know the time difference there. So I said in the, pre in the previous video that when you're moving from in the direction of east to west, what must you do? You must subtract. So meaning that you're going to have, okay, let me raise this part, let me raise this part. Okay, so this is C. So mean that we're going to have 14 hours minus what? The time difference, which is one hour, 40 minutes. Okay, so now how to subtract here? You must be careful. Okay, so we're going to say 0, 0 minus 40, it's, it can't there. Okay, so we're going to take one of which we know, of which we know that we are borrowing. Okay, the term which we used to say we are borrowing. Okay. Though we are borrowing without returning it. Okay, so now we are going to borrow one and bring it this side. But remember that the, the digits which are here, they are hours. The digits which are here, they are minutes. So that one hour which you are borrowing, when it comes this side, it becomes a 60 minutes. Because we know that one hour is equal to 60 minutes. This is time calculation classic. Okay, so now from here we must subtract 60 minus 40, it's 20. And then 13 minus 1, it's 12. So mean that this is the time, the time at point what? Point A. Okay, so this is saying, what is the time at point B if it's 14 hours at point A? So this is the time at point A. Very simple concept of how you can calculate time on the globe. Okay, so now, in summary, when you want to calculate time, what you must first know is the difference in longitude. When you know the difference in longitude, you must know the difference which is there in time across the two longitudes. When you know that, then you are home and dry. Then it's just a matter of knowing whether to add or to subtract. Thank you for watching this video, but make sure that you watch also the next video which is going to come tomorrow on speed. Because speed lie upon the time calculation which you have calculated here. So make sure that you understand this concept so that speed, it should be an easy cake to enjoy for you and I. Thank you very much.